Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to consume O.IPI in ASP.NET Core. In the last video tutorial you have uh, you have seen already about the controller section of API O.IPI that is the prefix is O.Data and uh, you can say that uh, how to consume it. So in the uh, web project you have to make a new action method and uh, get the uri property of uh, o data first of all so uh, public i action result and check o data that is the consume o data you can say so uh, just paste it that code like that uh, variable settings and in the settings uh, variable you uh, first of all uh, how to resolve that error so install uh, simple dot uh, o data uh, o data new get package like that uh, install package simple dot o data dot client package that is and the version is 5.18.2 uh, just wait for few seconds and after uh, download it you can resolve that uh, type of error like o data client settings o data client setting get the uri actually uh, where your data uh, exist so local data do local data and the port number and slash the o data that is the prefix in the uh, api you have mm, already seen in the last video tutorial uh, after that you get the client by using o data client mm, and uh, by using client you get uh, the list of the students mm, okay so dot client dot four so install successfully o data client and after that o data client settings you get the uri that is where your data exists make as a synchronous uh, okay task i action result okay now add a reference uh, because the student is actually exist in the web api project so make uh, so first of all add a, as a reference uh, as a project reference okay so uh, here we have a student to resolve web api dot models okay now uh, here you can see that uh, client equals to new o data client uh, where your settings is there like like the url of the uh, a web api project and after that uh, by using client dot four and uh, you get the list of uh, oops okay yeah, is there client dot four i mean to say that a list of student i i want to get and also apply the filter where x dot student id is greater than one because the student id is not greater than one actually student id is greater than zero okay so order by s name that is the in the form of the sending order and you get uh, the student id s name uh, first name and the last student name and the father's name was also so uh, make list of not a string type make as a complex data type that is the student okay so also uh, dot order by dot select p a dot student id s name and f name dot find entries async okay so for each variable uh, res in response and I'll add a list of uh, student in the segment student add equals to new student and the id number okay and the uh, ID number and the resource ID number dot s name equals to rs uh, resource dot s name f name equals to res dot f name. 
ओके सो कंजप्शन ऑफ द ओ डाटा ए पी आई इज अ नॉर्मल थिंग यू कैन से एंड द वेरी सिंपल सो इजी टू लर्न दैट इज द फीचर्स ऑफ द ओ डाटा स्टूडेंट आई डी ओके 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 एंड दैट इज द फादर्स नेम जस्ट कॉपी एंड पेस्ट ओके एंड कॉन कैट बाई द यूजिंग प्लस साइन नाउ इट्स ओके ना आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू रिटर्न द रिटर्न द स्टूडेंट सो रिटर्न व्यू एंड इन द व्यू यू हैव टू सेंड student now in the reserve view syntax you have to add a list of student you want to get so model class is list and the model class is student and the contact class is application db context check o data dot css html so here is the code so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp dot net core and the uh, the series is o data is continuing in the uh, in the later videos but uh, don't forget if you want to learn more about o data and uh, and the apis so please subscribe my channel and don't forget and please uh, if you like this video please uh, like this video also uh, uh, click the hit and hit the like button and you uh, you uh, if you want to share this uh, video on your facebook account and instagram and the whatsapp please hear that and please uh, if you want to learn more about asp.net core please comment it also so thank you guys for watching this